Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blood Marley. And this is Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of my, what is this? Late evening, early nighttime spliffs. You know, we about to do bird club. I'm about to take a look at these uh cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis piracy theories. Today's theory is a little different. It involves cannabis and the cosmos. So, all right, folks, buckle up. And grab a snack because we're diving into a galaxy far, far away. And by galaxy, I mean that hazy area between stoner theory and cosmic philosophy where I'm about to blow your mind with a little idea I call the cosmic cannabis connection. Here's the theory. Every strain of cannabis has a star buddy in the night sky, a cosmic twin that is whispering sweet nothings to it across millions of light years. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Did my weed come from a space helmet? Well, light went up, open your mind, and let's journey through the stars because it's high time you knew the truth. Picture this. You're on the couch. Your thoughts have lifted off, and you suddenly feel like that joint in your hand was personally blessed by an actual star in the sky. Not just any star, but a specific one that matches the strain in their vibe like peanut butter and jelly on a cosmic sandwich. This theory, or should I say high hypothesis, suggests that each strain of cannabis has a celestial blueprint up there, somewhere in the heavens directly influencing its unique effects. Think of it like having a star pen pal that's been lighting up since before humans knew what fire was. Here's a riddle for you. I charge ahead with courage and fire. In any battle, I won't tire. The first of the signs, I make my mark. With energy and passions, I'm ready to embark. Who am I? Let's put it another way. Imagine OG Kush looking up and waving at Beetlejuice like, Hey buddy, thanks for the vibes. And just like that, the connection is made. Each strain, some say, is merely receiving the cosmic energy of its star and packing it into every bud like a little interstellar pinata of pure celestial power. Who needs a horoscope when you got a blunderscope? According to the cosmic cannabis connection theorists words people wrist who i assume wear robes and stare at bongs under starlight every zodiac sign has its perfect strain match that's right even if you think horoscopes are hokum this idea suggests you might be destined to light up something preferably the perfect strain in sync with the stars so if you're a pisces and you feel like northern light just hits different well, maybe it's because your strain buddy is floating up there in the nebula, sending you some far out vibes from Neptune's neighborhood. Here's another riddle. I swim in the sea of dreams and mist. In a world of fantasy, I can't resist. My symbols of fish, my elements water. Which sign floats along Neptune's daughter? It said that if you dare to tote during Mercury retrograde, the chaos alone might have you contemplating why you left the fridge open, forgot your mom's birthday, and somehow lost both socks. The birth sign doesn't just define if you're the life of the party or a hermit. It now apparently the key to your interstellar high. When you feel grounded, if you're an earth sign, grab an indica. Fire signs, reach for a sativa that'll lift you right into the stratosphere. Folks say there's actually a map, a celestial cannabis chart, if you will, that connects every strain to a corresponding star, like some kind of cosmic farmer's market directory. If you're craving the soothing vibes of OG Kush, you'd look up the Beetlejuice, Blue Dream, somewhere in the mystical realm of the constellation Aquarius. But here's the kicker. The map supposedly guides true believers to their best high ever. Forget GPS. It's uh, all about the GPS galactic smoke positioning. In other words, perfectly aligned joint. Yeah, it's powered by celestial synergy. With this map, you'd not only find strains, you'd find soulmates. It's like Tinder for tokers. Swipe left for any strain whose star is hidden in a shadowy nebula. Swipe right for those in full radiant glory. Just as water signs go well with sensitive souls, your strain compatibility depends on your sign's natural vibe. Let's say you're a Leo. Well, roll up that Pineapple Express and you'll be roaring into no time. But be careful. 
pick a strain it doesn't mess with your star sign and you might end up feeling like you've just walked into an awkward family reunion this is serious stuff you could end up staring at the ceiling asking yourself life's big question like who am i and why did i order pizza at 3 a.m riddle time a loyal companion brave and true i'd face any danger for the likes of you with the main that's bold and a heart that's ground which sign claims though thrown across the land according to some you should pair your hide to match your horoscope just like you'd match wine to cheese except this wine gives you the giggles and the cheese well you're the cheese these cosmic cannabis connoisseurs believe each strain has a power season when the effects hit a whole new level why because that's when the strain the strains words the strange star twin is peaking in the night sky beaming down is extra potent cosmic rays like a giant intergalactic spotlight with the best out of sour diesel fire it up in february when this guiding star is supposedly at full strength and yes there are true believers marking their calendars for the perfect alignment days like the rest of us planning vacations in fact some of these people are out there with telescopes in one hand and joints in the other timing their hits with more precision than a nasa launch and the only spacewalk you'd be doing straight to the snack pantry my friend the most dedicated members of the cosmic cannabis connection say there's a subset of breeders who wait for the perfect astrological alignment to plant their seeds it's called cosmic breeding because of course it is and they believe this ritual enhances each strain's interstellar mojo planting seeds during say a solar eclipse or planetary conjunction is said to activate the strain's power imagine growing cannabis so potent that even the stars are like whoa he's up there Here's another riddle for you. Ruled by the moon, both sensitive and kind, fiercely protective and nurturing in mind, though I may withdraw into my shell, underneath my love will swell. Who am I? These breeders aren't just planting seeds, they're planting star seeds, harnessing galactic energy like horticultural Jedi's. The next best thing to an out of body experience. Hey, who knew who needs ordinary gardening when you can align your grow lights with the constellation Virgo? As we get into the last steps of this theory that we're walking down, legend has it that ancient mystics knew all about the cosmic cannabis connection and would perform celestial rituals to charge their plants. Some say the strange names we know today are hints at their galactic origins. Northern lights, star dog, nebula. This isn't just branding, folks. It's cold. According to this theory, modern day cultivators were merely inheriting a practice that's as old as the stars. So there you have it, bro. Is this all just a cloud of smoke and dreams? Or is it a universal truth that has been staring us in the face all along? Next time you light up, consider looking up too. The stars, as they say, are our true cosmic co palettes And who knows? That little twinkle up there might just be winking back at you, reminding you that you're never smoking alone. The answers to the riddles. Aries, Pisces, Leo, Cancer. I see you on the next one, bruh.